Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session we have is Monday, the 22nd of October 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the uh, Apple uh, App Store or the Google uh, Play Store as well. Okay, in terms of uh, the European market this morning, we've had a potential reprieve rally in the back of. Uh, uh, the Italian downgrade, uh, not obviously uh, being downgraded as lower than it, as as everybody was expecting, and therefore you had a relief rally. Uh, I think it was one notch or two notch. I can't remember recollect or uh, from that perspective. Either way, it certainly wasn't uh, downgraded as worse as everybody expected, and therefore we had a relief rally, and that obviously helped the euro as well to a large extent. Now um, Italy obviously bouncing as well. If I bring up the foot, um, FTSE MIB give you an insight here here we go FTSE MIB okay so uh, looking at this chart at the moment okay in a 15 minute obviously we, we gapped higher the market certainly is giving back the gains either way the market certainly rallied okay on the back of that also Chinese markets the biggest rally in three years okay on the back of Chinese stimulus okay then again, again that's certainly helping the uh, the Chinese market from that perspective so you are looking at a potential rally there as well the US markets did actually open lower um, uh, overnight the Nasdaq touching that uh, key level again uh, retesting the 7060 the S&P hitting a low of 27 just below around 2750 so again uh, certainly a very very bearish but the markets certainly have a pushback higher in terms of fundamental news flow other than obviously the brexit scenario with Theresa May potentially uh, having what 48 hours 72 hours etc to survive uh, again those those news stories certainly are doing the rounds as well so keep an eye on those okay now in terms of the uh, markets let's have a look at the technical picture let's start off with the german dax german dax certainly giving back its gains that certainly isn't good news as you can see here looks like we're pivoting back towards gap fill now uh, the potential rally being short-lived that certainly isn't a healthy sign at all so going back to gap fill potential uh, retest of uh, previous resistance equals support here in this zone so watch out for the potential support here okay so that's basically where we're oscillating between okay so that's something that you certainly need to be keeping an eye on uh, with regards to the market movements okay so that's basically where we stand in terms of the german dax now moving on to the french cac again the rally it's not exactly very confident is it as you can see here folks we've literally given back everything uh, in terms of the french cac this certainly isn't a healthy sign uh, as you can see here we've got, we're certainly approaching or retesting gap fill now uh, and if the market continues to slide then you've got support 5070 50560 uh, below so watch out for potential support there okay so uh, again uh, ongoing concerns regarding china uh, and uh, the u.s trade war ongoing concerns regarding brexit okay that certainly is weighing on the market as well so all these factors certainly adding up okay to uh, exert uh, excessive pressure on the uh, downside in terms of the uh, FTSE 100 the 60 minute chart does remain and is within a, a inverted head and shoulders formation so again that's something that you certainly need to take on board okay uh, don't get too bearish that's what I would say uh, obviously I was bearish today took out 20 points got out wasn't uh, didn't really want to hang on to that bearish sort of uh, uh, argument okay so again in and out if the uh, fundamentals certainly support you then obviously I wouldn't hesitate to take that trade now uh, one of the reasons why I took the trade is obviously we've got ongoing concerns regarding Brexit and obviously Theresa May's future as well so that certainly doesn't bode well for the market so bear that in mind okay so again I'm coming into resistance here now around the 7080 coming to resistance around the 7085 zone so watch out for that okay Moving on to the daily chart, the FTSE, I mean, what strong case can be made that the FTSE certainly is overdue a potential uh, short squeeze or a really strong short squeeze at that as well. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of European markets. You've got the uh, rally from the um, obviously uh, euphoria that uh, Italy didn't get as downgraded as, as everybody expected in terms of the levels or the notch. Uh, in terms of the downgrade, it wasn't as bad as everybody expected, and therefore, you had a short squeeze rally, which obviously, as we can see, it has been short-lived with the German DAX, French CAC, and even Eurostox now giving it all back. FTSE 100 certainly is uh, holding in there, um, to say the least. Uh, again, NASDAQ, S&P, it'll be interesting to see how they trade as well. There's no other major, obviously, market move, moving news in terms of fundamentals. It'll all be about 
the uh, Italian budget and obviously Brexit and the US-China trade war. We have had other concerns as well, though, uh, given the fact that the Russians, or should we say the Americans, are pulling out the uh, nuclear treaties. That certainly doesn't bode well as well. So all those factors and obviously a Saudi story still remains in the background uh, with those idiots obviously uh, murdering this uh, journalist and that. And that obviously that story will certainly have uh, a ripple effect in the market, especially in terms of oil. And again, I'm not going to go into further fundamentals because this video will be too long. Either way, please be sure to visit uh, CFDs.com. Take advantage of that bonus and be sure to visit TradeSignal. Download that latest app. Goodbye now.